What's up guys, got some more Overwatch action for you today. Today we're going to be talking about the fact that ELO Hell doesn't exist. And not only does it not exist, it's never existed, but it's flat out wrong. Like it's the other way around from what everyone has been saying this whole time. So uh, playing some Zarya. Zarya, uh, this is after the patch, so with her new beam improvements and her nerfs. Zarya has been nerfed so many times, but Blizzard... They can't keep this character down, man. Zarya is still a fucking beast, despite the nerfs. Uh, the new laser is way better. Uh, it instantly registers the damage. Uh, if you're a person that has good aim, that can track people like Genji and stuff, you're really going to melt people even faster. Uh, however, her shield has been nerfed from 40 energy for a full shield depletion down to... or for, It was at 50, now it's at 40, which... You can feel it. That, along with the energy nerf, her energy t does tick down faster now, too. Uh, that was that has existed previously, but they didn't, like, revert that. So, man, this character has been nerfed a lot since the since the beta. They nerfed her ult. They nerfed her energy, I think, twice. They nerfed her shields. They nerfed um, her shields again. Like, man, they, they can't... They're trying so hard to keep her down, man, but it's not happening. So... Oh yeah, here's here's a good clip here. So I'm going to come down here and melt this Lucio. Now watch what this Lucio does. He's jumping around. This would be very hard to do in the, in the last patch. You notice how all that damage is instantly registered? In the previous patch, you'd have to track him. You'd have to track that Lucio for like a, you know, 200 milliseconds before the damage actually registered. Now, if your cursor is kind of just going on and off, on and off, on and off, the damage still hits. Uh, for the most part, there's probably still some lag there, but it's not that bad. But, anyway... So, ELO Hell doesn't exist. Not only does it not exist, it's the complete opposite of what everyone has been saying. And I've been thinking this for a long time, but finally some other people and another big YouTube channel called um, Your Overwatch talked about this. And I just thought I was fucking crazy for the longest time, thinking the game was harder in a six stack than it was solo. But no, it turns out I'm not fucking crazy, and it really is just that much easier to play this game solo. Watch this all here. Get a nice little unintentional combo there with the uh, Graviton Pharah. Didn't even try to set that up, just got lucky. But, um, so, I have been thinking this for a while, and uh, and the, the community has pushed this thing, like, everyone has pushed this idea of elo hell because the thing with the thing with the whole concept of elo hell is it just takes responsibility off of you oh it's it's the game that's why i can't rank up right it's the game it's my teammates no you're just bad you're just bad and not only are you bad even if you're good at solo queue you're still bad and this is coming from a solo queue player because uh I primarily play the game solo queue now because I'm pretty casual and when I do play Overwatch, I just play for a few games here and there and I might not play for two weeks, whatever. Um, so I just play for solo, solo queue here and there and I am the worst, the absolute worst person to play solo queue with. Why? Because I don't use a microphone. I used to, but I don't play. I don't take the game that fucking seriously anymore. And not only do I not use a microphone, I also... Turn off other people's mics. Now you might ask, why do I do that? Because I listen to podcasts. I do keep the game sound on, but I am so out of it. Like I'm just in my own little zone listening. To, like in this game, I was listening to, I think like PKA or something. And just in my own little world, still paying attention, still I think playing decently, but not taking it that fucking seriously. Now, there was a time when I took this game super seriously. I was playing in six stacks all the time. And, uh... You know, voiceover, Discord, fucking communicating, setting up plays, and doing all that shit, right? And uh, this was back in Season 1. And when I played in a 6-stack, I was in the mid uh, mid to lower 60s in, in our 6-stack group. And I feel like I was playing with players that were uh, probably better than me, to be honest. Uh, and we were only in the mid to, to lower 60s for the most part when we played in that 6-stack. Now... Um, I would play with those guys a lot of the time, but whenever they would be offline, I would play solo. And every time I play solo, I would go, you know, I would move up in rank. I'd go up to like rank 68 or 69, and then I'd come back and play with those guys, and they'd be like, well, what the fuck? Like, what, like are we bad? Because a lot of those guys would uh, only play in the six stack. So, you know, if you look at it from their point of view, right... They see this guy that they're always playing their six stack with, and every time he doesn't play with them, he comes back at a higher rank, right? So that makes them feel like shit because they're only playing in the six stack, and it makes me 
go like, am I just, am I crazy? Do I suck at playing in a six stack? Because every time I don't play with these guys, I do better. But they're, I feel like they're good. Like, this doesn't make sense. No, it just turns out the game is fucking so much easier to play solo than it is in a six stack, which completely shits on the idea of ELO L. It just, it just completely throws that shit out the window. So, uh, I'm not sure what Blizzard can do to fix this. Uh, the only thing I can really think of is either split the matchmaking up completely, or let six stacks queue against solos, because it, it, it's fracturing, it, well, it's not fracturing the game, but it's giving people a false of the rank that they're actually at. And this is including me. I... I do not feel like I'm actually a diamond player, or at least not a mid-tier diamond player, because when I play this game in a six stack, in the, in the like most competitive way possible, I am not very good. Like, I would damn near say I'm like a platinum, mid-tier platinum player when I play this game in a six stack, because I struggle, like Zarya is my main character, right? And she plays completely different in solo queue. Like, her her in ranked versus her in, in solo queue, it's way different. Because solo queue is way more chaotic. It's way easier to get charge. Um, the, you can be way more selfish with your shields. And pretty much if I'm getting... Like, it's, it's way easier to get charged up so I can play this aggressive play style that doesn't really happen in six stacks. Because in six stacks, it's, you know, every single team push is coordinated by the enemies. They're coming in with Lucio speed boosts and um, shit like that that doesn't happen really in solo queue, even at mid to upper diamond. Like, it doesn't fucking happen really. I mean, yeah, people are good and, and whatever, but these super coordinated, you know, Reaper dropping in, you know, crazy plays that you see even in like platinum six stacks don't happen in diamond, and it's a completely different game. So, um, Elo Hell doesn't fucking exist. Get over it. Six stacks, way fucking harder than solo queue, and my, surely you guys have noticed this, right? I can't be fucking that crazy. Um, and Zarya, check her out. She's got nerfed, but she also got buffed, and whatever. This is a rambling, crazy rambling video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you think Elo Hill exists, get good, you're bad. And if you play solo and you think you're good, you're probably not, you're probably bad, including me. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.